as we get into the what's now the NBA's version of the Final Four, what's your take on the Eastern Conference Finals for the playoffs? What can we expect? Well, I think that the Eastern Conference playoffs are going to be a little more interesting than the counterparts in the West. I Now it's shaped up to be Boston versus Cleveland. And I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, there's a nice story, backstory with the point guard for the Boston Celtics, Isaiah Thomas, what he has had to face during the playoffs with the tragic tragic loss of his sister. And he's going to come in determined to win. And they have a nice... He has a nice supporting cast around him, but I think in the end, Cleveland has too much firepower, and you know, Cleveland will punch their ticket to the finals to face, I presume, to be the Warriors. Yeah, I think you know the, the San Antonio Spurs had a nice opportunity on Sunday, or like at least this past weekend, to go ahead and win Game 1. They were up, what, 25 points, yeah. and Golden State wound up coming back uh, in a heartbreaking uh, fashion for the San Antonio Spurs. I think, Keisha, as we've been doing this show from last season and until this season, a lot of our NBA talk revolves around the fact that the NBA Finals, it just seems like it's always going to wind up culminating to be the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, who really have been the two best teams in the NBA over the course of the last three seasons. And why not? You get a third straight season for these two teams to meet up in the NBA Finals. That's what the fans want. These NBA playoffs, as we were discussing off, off air before the show started, they've been somewhat lackluster, but I think now with what we've seen from Isaiah Thomas, as you pointed out, the Eastern Conference Finals, the Celtics could probably give the Cavs a run. I, I just think, for me, the really what I'm looking forward to is the NBA Finals matchup. How can you not? Yeah, I think the Celtics might st steal a game or two, but in the end, they'll go home and, and regroup for uh, next season. They've got draft picks coming up in the lottery, and there's some free agents out there at the end of the season, so that you know maybe Boston can get some pieces to actually push Cleveland even further and maybe even overtake them because I think that's just what the teams are, are doing now or maybe what they need to be doing is to figure out how to build their teams to beat the best in their conference. So how to build a team to beat the Warriors for the in the West Western Conference and how to build a team to beat the, Cla the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference. So we'll see. I, I think like you said, it's it looks like it's destiny that we'll have the third meeting between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Golden State Warriors.